Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I work on lifestyle, faith, and crafts. In today's video is about crafts. I'll be showing you how to make a bridal bead for weddings. You know, you can rock it to parties. It's very easy to make. So let's get started. Before we start though, would you be kind enough to hit that red subscribe button below? It's going to mean so much to me. Please do that for me. All right, let's get started. Hi guys, so this is a list of my favorite ingredients. Some red tea. You need a fishing line. You will also need some stones, either gold or silver or the round one, depending on what you want. Then, if you also want to make earrings, you need some help. Earring book. I'll also be making use of this long needle. So use a twine, a twine, or if it's just if you have a normal thread at home, you can just double this like or triple it to make it strong. You'll be needing a stopper, and then you need two pairs of small gold stones, or you can make it a real if you don't have this. And also, we need two small beads, preferably gold. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab my this. I'm going to thread my twine. I'm going to put it all the way to the end. I'm going to thread it longer because I'm actually having it double. Next, I'll just cut. And then I'll set aside. So what I'm going to do next is because I want this to align, I'll grab some let's say like one, two, I got like four, three, four. At this junction I'll just set aside two for my earring. So I have for inside my string already. So this is four. So next I'll grab one good stone and yep, put it there. Then I'll grab three again. And I'll grab a good stone. Um, yeah. So after that, I'm going to grab four of these. What's four? I'll grab another good stone. So I want it to rhyme. So it's over then something like this. So I want it to rhyme. So next I'm adding three. Uh, this goes to cost like 500 naira per one in the market, so and it had different designs, different shapes. So, some of these are the next four. Together to see how it looks now. Thanks, right, so guys. I ended up adjusting it because I didn't like how long was looking, so it's a pieces of four, four year, so stones, three, three, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. six. So just go ahead and give this a good.
the ones I'm sure I've, I've double checked the tying and it's firm. So I'm going to give it one more good time. I'll just cut and I'll burn out the edges. So at this junction, we are good to go. But one thing I always do to double check that this stays in firm is I always secure it with a fishing line. I mean, you never can be too sure because these bits are pretty heavy. And in as much as I know that the twine in there is strong, but you know. I want something steady with the firm grip because I don't want the situation where the bride is dancing or the person wearing is dancing and then the beat scatters. Can you imagine that? It's not a nice scenario. So I'm just going to go around with this again with fish line. I'm going to 0.50 fish line. So this time around, the whole out also is so just past the needle. So I'm going back to the end. What I'm going to do now is pick the good bead I had earlier. Yeah. Put it at both ends of the fishy line. You see that? And next, I got stopper. I'll use three. Yeah, I guess it took one. Now the reason why I have to put this bead is if I just put the stopper in directly, because the stopper is turning, it's going to go all the way inside the bead and then I'll start looking for it and I don't want that. So this is the other fishing line, so I'll just cross it like intertwine. Yeah. So once I've pulled that family, I'm going to get a flat nose and press my stopper. But before I do that, also pass the fishing line into the speed. So pass the line into bead and Over that, it's going next to press my stopper. Uh, press it well. For me to make the earrings, so this is so for the earrings, put these and this. 
this. Yeah, my own cook. So and I also pick some. This is some size three gold bead. You see what I'll do with it now. I'll pick my fishing line. So what I'll do now is pick my earring. Let inside. Next up my bead. And then this. Then I'll just stop it with a stopper. Next, I'll grab one stopper. Put it inside. No press. So that way, my earring is ready. Okay, thank you for watching that video. If oh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you actually like it, and also share it with your family and friends. You may just be helping someone. All right, guys, see you in the next video.